Don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, don't hesitate to say, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe. Hey, babe. It's Thursday, and you know what that means. Everyone loves Hey Babes! Now Scissor Man! <laughs> hey. hey! Look at that, Anthony Bones. <laughs> Look at that. It's uh, We like that intro. He's doing the heavy lifting. We'll eventually get back to songs. Yeah. It's not going to be like this forever. No. We have a special guest yes. in the Hey Babe studios for the very first time. You may know him from my world. I speak about him a lot. We had a big weekend this weekend that we're going to talk all about. Sal and I had a great time, and we thought it would be nice to bring in the man whose balls I came from, <laughs> Tampa Tony, Tony oh! DiStefano. Hey, that's thanks, it. Chris. That's, that's it. the nicest thing you said about me in years. That's it. He's got you got your CVS jacket, your CVS Staten Island jacket, 995 jacket, 895 shoes, my black socks, black pants. I'm good. Slay king. I, I love a king, but also, uh, does he not give you gifts that are like, like? Does he give you like you know any? Like, you could you could get him in a nice fit. I give him a, I give him a new balances, but he the problem. He, he, you you had a glow up. I've had a glow up. The problem is with my father is he needs his sneaker sizes in whatever number it is size wide. <laughs> so when he goes in there, he'll say, I need a size 12 wide. And a lot of times these these fashionable sneakers that we wear, yeah. they don't have it in wide. No. So no. my dad needs it in wide and typically doesn't like to tie shoelaces. So what he's rocking right now is a slip on sketchers. Slip I mean, on. He doesn't want to get the hassle of the lace as he gets older. He said he's done with bend, shoelaces. I can't bend that far down. Yeah. Well, what I do, what I am picking up here is you're all about comfortability. That's right. And honestly, I feel that shift happening in my own life. Yeah. Where I just don't care. I want to drape myself in velvet, flip flops, and I want to walk around like that. That's it. My, there my, there you I, go. I had the biggest weekend of my career, career wise. We did Radio City Music Hall and Theater at Madison Square Garden, and it was amazing. Both shows sold out. Thank you to the fans that came. Sal was the surprise guest and dropped in and did a beautiful guest spot at the Theater at Madison Square Garden and annihilated and ended the show reading a very angry email from Joe DeRosa <laughs> or from one of Joe DeRosa's, you know, private accounts. But I'm bringing that up to say my father, great you know, my biggest shows of my life, and my father wore this exact outfit both nights. <laughs> so that's, but that's how you know when you're at a level where you say, I don't care. But is that, is that not the ultimate in what cool is? Yes. Being unapologetically yourself, mm -hmm. no matter when there's pressures to not be? That's right. That don't jacket, like it, don't look. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that jacket you're wearing, which you said was nine ninety five from the rack at CVS, it's next to the toilet paper on the CVS on Manor Road on Staten Island. That jacket, CVS. That's, that is a fit. Right, that, is. that jacket is a jacket that uh, we would wear and be like, "That's a fit." It, it just goes to show you all the couture, all the extra money spent on yeah. the designer stuff that small children are making across the globe. Yeah, you could right. buy stuff that small children are making across the globe that is more reasonable. Exactly. Right. Um, right. I like yes. I like the color. I like, I would have never known that was. You could have told me that was a seventy dollars jacket. I wouldn't have well, known. No, no, no seventy dollars. My wife would kill me. Go to the CBS <laughs> on Manor Road. Get 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 a booster and get a jacket from Staten Island. <laughs> um, uh, I get all the boosters, by the way. Yes, the guys boosted. You're boosted up. You're boosted heavy. You're five G. That's it. I'm boosted. Now let me ask you, Dad. What did you think about this weekend's experience? We have a picture up right now of me holding my daughter Violet, um, who, as I was walking across the stage, I swear to God, no one. I can't prove this. Maybe if Pimp's audio picked it up, but literally, this picture is being taken. I saw Pimp out of the corner of my eye. We're walking on the stage and. Moments before, after this picture, she said, "Oh my, oh my shit. shit!" I knew it. I swear to God, <laughs> I knew you were going to say, "Oh my shit," because that's what she says every day. She said, "Oh my shit!" Once you looked at the people, <laughs> I literally. But you first said moments. I said, "Is it, is it going to be oh my shit?" It was oh and my I shit. I thought it wasn't for a little while, and then you came back. And have went. you heard Violet say, "Oh my shit, Dad," in the house? Yeah. Yes, I have. I thought she was talking about me going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, don't shit. My dad sometimes goes three, four weeks, no dookie. No. What's yeah. the, what's your what's what's the latest and greatest with that? Dad? The latest and greatest that is still no dookie. You have When's the last no time dookie, you took how long no dookie? Have you about two weeks. About two weeks. Two weeks no dookie. No yep. Dookie. Two weeks no dookie is the title of the episode, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks, no dookie. <laughs> two weeks no dookie. And is that is that common? Is this a record or have you been in, in the area of two weeks no, no dookie before? No, I've been in that area. No, my dude. Doctor he to, said, you, my doctor said it's normal. Oh, so you flirt with two weeks no dookie yeah, yeah. So, on a regular basis. So, he didn't take one crap at all in the summer of 21. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Zero. Yeah. He maybe took one or two the entire oh, I mean, summer I of 21. Were, I thought you were being, no, no, one or two hyperbolic. craps. No, one or two craps the entire summer of 21. 
one or two craps. Easily. Maybe. How? Wait, but where but is I the blame food? Him. He blames me. I blame him because what? when I was in his house, I fell, I fell off the off the bench, hit my back. Mm-hmm. And he said, "No, there's nothing wrong with you. Don't worry about it." Pick me up, threw me in the water. You never, and I, you and never I couldn't get out. Never duked again. Well, I I do every now and then. But you think the no duke is because of when you fell and hurt your back? I hit my back, yeah. And how does that how does that transpire into how does that manifest itself as no duke? Uh, that, that's when that that's where I, how I pinpointed it. I was doing well until. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's your assessment. It's not it's my, medical. It's my, it's my assessment. Okay. Now, what happens when you finally do do it? Is it do? Is it a relief? Or do like? Is it a is lot? It like the Super oh, it's Bowl. A lot. It's a lot. It's like the Super Bowl. It's a Super Bowl. It's, it's yeah. a lot. Is there a halftime? <laughs> <laughs> you know what you need. He needs a uh, 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 seed DSO one symbiotic. He does. He does That's need. what you need. Well, if they if they would start um they advertising would start promote, if they would start advertising again we could get you on it then we can get him on a program and we could document it now what happened Maybe he's the new face of it yes did you what did you think about my shows this Bef- weekend i i can't wait to get into okay. that i can't wait but i can't have this hanging over my head okay where does the food go the 2 weeks worth of food go that you've been eating if it's not coming out well of you? like I- if i put on a table all the food you ate for the last two weeks. And then I say, I'm putting that in you and it's not coming out of you. How does that, how does that, how is that possible? How does that work? Well, you I, are a I don't, therapist. I don't eat, I don't eat a lot anymore. Oh, he's going to appear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> magic. <laughs> it's, <laughs> All right. It's magic. We actually have a surprise guest out of nowhere. Yeah, we have a surprise guest out because we've said, you know, you haven't taken a shit in two weeks and we <laughs> wanted to make you shit your pants. So we brought in Rob Eiler, the kid from The Sopranos. <laughs> well, I would shit my pants when it was like 10 years ago. I figure he's connected, you know what I'm trying to say? No, not anymore. No, know, he's actually. No, he's actually. your tactic to help induce your shit. <laughs> he's quit acting. He's moved to Austin. That's his new life now. What do you think of that? What do you think of his choices? Uh, very good. Do you, do you like the choices? I'm very comfortable with the choices. There See, you go. You I like that. I like a kid. Like I like a guy, and just said, you know what? I'm gonna do what the hell I want to do. I appreciate that. That's, very good. I like that. Very good. Playing poker, not acting, living in Austin. Good for you, dude. Because I want to quit comedy every day, and I'm <laughs> I'm too scared because I I don't know if he has health insurance and I have to pay for his. Bowel movements, <laughs> his bowel reconstruction. Never ends. Never ends with him. He, never, now that he's uppity, and you know he's pretty uppity now. So. <laughs> I'm uppity. Money uppity. changes people. Yeah. Yeah, yes. cha- yeah. Money. Yeah. Money changes people. Right. Exactly. Ah, wow, dude. What are you talking about? Tampa Tony. Just. You're <laughs> I got this sweatshirt for free. Shout out busting with the boys. <laughs> there you go. If, if this dude. was if this was like three years ago, I would have been scheduled properly. But now he's a big shot. It's like yeah, we're not. Uh, I just fucking. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I don't get scheduled because I'm here yeah. in New York. Right. <laughs> Do you need a ride to the airport tomorrow, by the way? Because <laughs> Rob's yeah. going that way. Right? <laughs> Rob, great hat, Rob. Great hat. I told you, corduroy hat, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I was uh, the other day, Jamie Lynn was in town for a day, and we did uh, Jim and Sam. And we walked out of there, and I saw the MLB store, and I'm like, man, I fucking, I'm a big hat guy. And I go in, and I see this. I see it's That's sharp. I, I try on a bunch of hats. This hat fit me better than any hat I've ever had, but it's in San Diego. Yep. And then the next the one next to it is Boston Red Sox. There's no way I'm no, ever wearing you can't that. Can't do that. <laughs> and then a, a Mets hat. And the guy goes, Yeah, we're out of everything else. This is all we have. I, I looked like fucking it was like Fight Club when he's just talking to himself. The whole like I, w- I walked to the door of the store. I was like, No, you gotta, but you gotta get the fucking hat. <laughs> oh, you're not oh, you're get the hat. The right guy. And I'm like fully fighting with myself. I'm like, you're not gonna wear in San Diego, how, I'm like, but that, that it fits you better than anything's ever fit you in your life. What are you gonna do? And the guy's like, dude, it's a hat. Like, do you <laughs> want it or not? I'm like, this is. I've never worn a hat that's not a Yankee hat. Dude, yeah. it's cla- it looks awesome. I yeah. come as soon as I saw it, I said, that's a hat. And also with the mind of like being around people who bust balls, I'm like, suck dick. Right, 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 right. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm around like, them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like always that. around them. <laughs> but, but I'm like, uh, I'm just like, uh, but but Boston and Mets, I can never. Yeah, you can. I can. I can, I can I, never. Yeah, it's tough. It's just tough. I, I'm with you. Where, you. where were you from originally? Uh, Manhattan, New York City, my whole oh, life. Oh, right nice. on. Yeah, there you yeah, go. yeah, yeah. Well, pure New York City kid. A native, an actual. So is my dad from Manhattan. Look at that. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah. Where would you grow up? 118th Street between Second and Third. Okay, 92nd and Second. Oh, so there you go. Wow. Yeah. 118 Second and Third. You, you want to do a pod together? Sure. We should do a pod. Seriously, you guys <laughs> should do a pod. We probably know the same people. Yeah. <laughs> One eighteen. Isn't that up by the it's Harlem, right? Harlem. Oh, I thought it was Spanish. Is it Spanish Harlem? Yeah, Spanish. 
basically. Yeah. But back then, yeah. it was mostly Italians. Yeah, yeah. Well, if, if, you, go, if you go right, it's all Spanish and black. You go the other way, it's all white. Why is so that? There was always a, there's always a clash. Always, yeah, a, clash. always a clash. Also, if you're from New York City, you're like, it's, it's fucking it? Harlem, uptown, midtown, downtown. All this, like, neighborhood shit. Yeah. It's all, like... It's also people could sell real estate. Like, oh, yeah. you live in Murray right. Hill? Like, get the right. fuck out of here. Right, I don't know right, what that right, is. Right. Yeah. You're, you're in the 20s. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you live on 33rd. Yeah. yeah. Kip's uh, Bay is, a, is... Kip's Bay never gets any love. Kip's they name, Bay. like, three blocks now. I know. Like, this, like, little trial. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Tudor City. There's real small ones, yeah. Where are you from, babe? Me? <laughs> uh, Ridgewood. Ridgewood. Ridgewood, Queens. Ridgewood, Queens, Brooklyn. I like it's, it. It's on the border. I'm starting to really have a, like a love affair with Queens after meeting all your boys. You like going Queens. out to Forest Hills. It's really nice out there. Queens like I think Queens uh they hip hop. Hip hop. They like you too. My boys they the shout out my boy Chris. Good stuff, man. Good Don't stuff. <laughs> Great time. I, I'm just my, like you. my dad works at Queen Center Mall. Does he? Right yeah. Shit. Uh, always, my whole life. Yeah, yeah. He's always wow. worked at Queen Center Mall. Yeah, yeah. That's probably, awesome. You, what is he? Huh? He probably knows your mother. Oh, my mother's in Queen Center Mall all day, every day. Get his steps in. Set him up. Wow. <laughs> Could you imagine? That's just how we're stepbrothers. <laughs> Did you guys just become best friends? <laughs> wow, Queen Center Mall. You never been to the Queen Center Mall, Sal? I don't believe so. Queen Center Mall, it's like the Staten Island Mall, but in Queens. All right. Is it? Is it? Is it, is it, is it well, the Staten Mall. We, we have our mall was not ever good growing up compared to like the Jersey malls. But then they did a big overhaul. But I haven't been to it in ten years. But now it's different. It was just a shitty mall, or is it like? Is it considered? It was like, shitty. Now it's good. Now but it's like good. growing up in New York City, even at like I'm 38 now, I still think malls are cool because I've only. But right. going up till 20, I only saw them in like Manhattan movies. Mall, the Manhattan Mall. Yeah, we never there's went in that place. Mall. Yeah, there's no. So I'd see it in movies. I'd be like, yo, malls are dope. Like, yeah, that's yeah. where shit goes down. That's a hike for your dad from Manhattan to Queen Center Mall, but he did it. Well, yeah, well, he moved to Queens and was working there. And, oh, yeah. he divorced. Yeah, well, they were never, my parents had me when they were like 17, 18, like barely even. Wow. You know, like they were kids. They weren't even like, I don't even know if they were dating or what. They but, just had, but, yeah. so, but, but your dad was in your life, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Same like you, my dad. Divorced parents. He lived on Staten Island. I lived in Queens. This guy never missed a baseball practice. Never missed a baseball (laughs) practice, a game. Nothing. My dad missed some stuff. (laughs) (laughs) He missed a lot of stuff. I wasn't allowed. He nervous Nelly over here. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty, you're, you're, I'm pretty you're, nervous, you're, Nelly. Really, that also might be the title of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was it? A two week? No, 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 Duke, uh, no Dookie for two weeks. No, what, like was it, what was it called? My dad barely shits. What was the first uh, one called? I used to have two week, that no problem. Dookie. Two week, no Dookie, or uppity uh, uh, nervous, uh, Nelly. Up, up nervous Nelly. Uppity Rob just said he used to have that issue too. No, I was addicted to Percocets for a long time. Okay, uh, when you're doing that, that was Tony. Because uh, Tony blamed on hitting his back when he fell. You talking the yellows tone? He tried to make me take one one time on his show. Oh. I said, okay, give me one. I took it. Right in the garbage. You didn't take You faked oh. it. I yeah. faked it. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, Percocets will, sin. they'll clock you up. <laughs> yeah. No perks though for you lately. No, I've been over 10 years now. Wow. Oh, great, a good, great. good boy. Amazing. Yeah. And I'm not as fun as I used to. I used to be a lot you of seem fun. Like blessed. Yeah, but I'm pretty miserable. You know, and just like you know, you came to the right place. Man. Yeah, people are like, "Oh, it's raining." You okay? I'm like, "It's always raining." You yeah. know what I mean? It's, fucking- it's always gray. I'm yeah. often miss. I'm often miss. Parents divorced when I was four, and I swear to God, I will have a one-hour conversation with myself about a hat. Without a doubt. <laughs> yeah, Without yeah. a doubt. I'll say the same thing. But I do agree. You got to go. Don't worry about the team as long as it's not. The Red Sox. The Red Sox. So yeah. I feel like I was like transitioning. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? No, I'm like, well, how do you? You get a pass. It's like a sharp hat. If it's not your, I, I think, I'm under the impression that if it's not your actual number one adversary or whatever, you're fine. You can right. do it. I have, I have baseball jerseys, the batting practice jerseys from every team in the major leagues besides the Red Sox. I will never get the Red Sox. But any other team, Mets include whoever, I think you can rock it. It's no problem. But you just can't get whatever your team's rival is. Yeah, but and also I, the Mets. The Mets is tough. You don't like the Mets. I, I would just, have said that when I was younger, but I've come around a little bit. But even no, I but even I I like like if I'm you know if the Yankees are out, I'll root for the Mets, sure, sure. but still putting on like the orange weird. and blue That's and so the, weird. yeah, it's just it I know feels... you need something inside. You won't feel comfortable. I had to do it. I had to do it because we filmed at, Ch- at uh, City Field, and so I put on the uniform. I put on the hat. They, they made me my own jersey, so I put it on, and I did. I, it felt like completely foreign to me. To be right. in those colors. Right. But it was cool. It was a pinstripe. It felt like a throwback, so I just. But then we'll wear Nick stuff. The Knicks are orange. It's different, though, I yeah. guess. 
But the Knicks are orange. The Mets feel like a minor league team to me. They do. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it just has that vibe. Like, even, like, the, the cut, it just feels like... Right. They're the scrappy ones, and we're the, you know, the, yeah, yeah. Also, my dad's a Met fan, you know. Yeah. We talked to him. He wasn't there. So, well, no, it's, yeah, it's tough. The Mets represent that. Yeah. Really. yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> do you right. think, do you, are you in line? Do you think maybe you could date Taylor Swift? Oh, I could never. Dude, even when I was, like, out drinking all the time, I was always the civilian I, I go for civilians, you know. Right, you right, don't right. go like uh, uh, these. Good, they, it's a. It's, well, I can need a box. I need it's what. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just too much. It's too. It's yeah. already a lot dating. Yeah. Then but, you throw in like, oh yeah, well my security get the. F yeah, like yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. Look at this. She left uh, the Chiefs game a couple of days ago. Uh, yes, or. What is today? Tuesday on Sunday in a in a popcorn machine. But, but Did wait, you see this? Wait, wait, she's oh in that popcorn. But they know she's Are in. you serious? Why are they recording this then? If they don't, it's because what what it is? She didn't want pictures, Pippi. Wait, 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 wait. wait. How she enters and exits every arena. Wait, 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 wait. They should throw snakes in there or like something. You know what I mean? Like just to find like. like Hold on, hold on. It's like That's... Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're telling me, so do they know that's her in there and she's just doing it because she doesn't want to see anyone? This or is she trying to be sneaky? This is also how she enters stage for her own shows. Okay, all those people on those barriers and the person filming the popcorn car come by, so they know she's in it. At this point, they know. That's so weird. So is there anything with her what? show? Is it is it just because she's having fun with it or is it a security measure? That she has to go travel around in a popcorn Doesn't machine. Want <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't want to be photographed. Why pop, my point is, why a popcorn machine? Why not just go in a, a coffin or, you know, like a, 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 you know, a bin? According to the your dad, the direction you're headed, you're going to be in a popcorn machine in no time. Yeah. Seriously. You know? You are pretty nervous, yeah. Nelly. Yeah. 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 You yeah. are pretty nervous, nervous Nelly. Nelly. Dude. Yeah, that'd be good for him, suck dick. That'd be good for him. <laughs> okay, there you go. Just saying, just saying. Swifties, yeah. It's interesting. She, so she's she's now dating Travis Kelsey? Is that it? I saw her in the, this in what the box. Saying. And then he's like, babe, you smell like butter. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> she's, now da she's now dating Travis Kelsey, and here's what, um, here's what the internet, the reason why. Uh-oh, hold on, my food delivery. <laughs> well, Hello? Yeah, can you can you bring it up to the sixth floor and leave it? Okay, yeah, you could just leave it. You just leave it there. Just leave it on that table. I'll come get it. Can you come? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, you're gonna wait for me? Just leave it. Yeah, you could just leave it. Yeah, all right. We'll give you tip tomorrow. Yeah, I already tipped on on the app. <laughs> Oh, he hung up. You tipped uh, in the mail. You okay, here we go. Tip is in so the mail. what the internet is saying about Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift is... Uh... Guys, beam, dream, powder. Uh, I got... I have that on my kitchen counter right now. I started using it last year when beam became a sponsor for the show. I love it. A uh, couple things. Do you know poor sleep can cause weight gain, uh, poor mental health, lower productivity? Because it absolutely can. Sleeping less than six to seven hours a night uh, is linked to reducing the white blood cell count. I don't need to tell you that sleep is important. Uh, this stuff is delicious. It's like hot cocoa, and it tastes like hot cocoa. And I drink it, and I have the best night's sleep that I can possibly have. Um, nothing's worse than when I'm on the road and I have to sleep or I have to sleep for the next morning and for some reason that night I can't fall asleep. This is uh, how I combat it. I really like it. Uh, find out why Forbes and New York Times are all talking about Beam and why it's trusted by the world's top athletes and business professionals and podcasters, I guess. <laughs> uh, if you want to try Beam's best-selling dream powder, guys, get up to 40% off for a limited time when you go to shopbeam.com slash heybabe and use the code heybabe at checkout. That's shopbeam, B-E-A-M, dot com slash heybabe, and then use the code heybabe for up to 40% off. Guys, we have a great order, uh, offer with DoorDash here. Get 50% off your first DoorDash order, up to $20 value when you use code HEYBABEMART at checkout. Limited time offer, terms apply. That's HEYBABEMART, M-A-R-T, at checkout. You want even more value, you can save on all your grocery and restaurant favorites with a $0 delivery fee on all eligible orders with a Dash Pass membership. Now, yeah. I'll tell you what, I love DoorDash. I've talked about it on here before, and I use it 
I literally use it weekly because I don't cook and it enables me to get food and dinner or lunch, whatever, from places that don't deliver. Uh, you know, and so that's never happened before. And then also on the road, I use DoorDash because if the hotel doesn't have, you know, room service, this is amazing and uh, I can get anything I want. It's actually better than room service. So I love it. But one thing I didn't do was use it for groceries. And I started to do that now and I realized damn, I don't have to go to the grocery store. I can get this stuff within like an hour, which is ridiculous. I can make substitutions if I pick something that I want to change before the order is, is done. It's just so convenient. They drop it off at your door. It's done through the app. A lot of times, like, I'll have a last minute thing. And I don't realize like, I'll, I'll make, I'll be making like waffles and I realize I don't have syrup. It's like, all right, I'll hold off. I'll order this. It'll be here in 15 minutes. And my whole waffle morning that I was hoping for isn't screwed. Get 50% off your first DoorDash order up to $20 value when you use code HEYBABEMART at checkout. Limited time offer. Uh, terms apply. Right? Just scroll a second. Okay, Bim. So, guys, that's 50, 50% off up to $20 on your first order through DoorDash when you enter the code Hey Babe Mart. One more time, don't forget that's code Hey Babe Mart for 50% off your first order up to $20 when you try DoorDash. So, what the internet is saying about Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift is uh, here's, what, here's what they're saying you should be talking about how Taylor Swift was a gift to Travis Kelsey from Pfizer. For selling out and pushing the vax for them, <laughs> you don't you don't see the correlation that this new couple pops up as soon as his new advertisement for the COVID vaccine is launched. It's very simple. His status gets elevated to new levels. He becomes even more wealthy than he was, and he gets a taste of Taylor's box. Meanwhile, millions Popcorn of box. Meanwhile, of course, yeah, yes. Meanwhile, millions of mindless followers look up Travis Kelsey and see that he's also pro vaccine. So now they're okay with it. Taylor sacrificed her body the Illuminati years ago, so giving it up to Kelsey is nothing. Oh, yeah. He's also publicly stated for years that he's into black girls. So now, all of a sudden, he likes the whitest girl in America. Hashtag vaccine. Okay, when did you post that? Uh, <laughs> yes, that was... Uh, yeah, I posted that, uh, you know... Yeah. Uh, that um, <laughs> look at this. It's so ridiculous <laughs> that everyone knows it now. Yeah, she's, she's just in that box. So just she's like, doing bits. Yeah, I mean, like, like it's so weird. There's like mops on top of that. It, it, well, it's a bit. Well, 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 it is a bit. It's got to be a bit. It, but because why can't she just walk with security from there to there and they're screaming at the thing? The kind of it just it just it, it makes it like it's it makes it the thing that it doesn't have to be. Well, then again, I don't know. What her life is like, right? She's clearly right now. She's the most famous person on the planet. Yeah, but she doesn't need to be in there. Who is the most famous person on the planet for real? Like, it may be her. Tom you Cruise. Ever, you think Tom Cruise? I think because he's just a different. But I guess, but young people don't know him, so no. It depends where, the, where it's weighted. Isn't no. it Obama? No, no because he's too Obama chill. could be as, as much as any other president. But I'm saying, like, if you went around to yeah, the, Trump the would corners, be more famous than Barack. Right, right. But Worldwide, I'm yeah. Talk about like the the the, the, the most recognized. So they're saying Cristiano Ronaldo is the most famous person in the world. Because I was thinking about this the other day. I like, wouldn't know if he was sitting right here. Me neither. Me neither. Yeah, but we everybody does know Taylor Swift. I bet you. I bet you. It's probably Taylor Swift. Like I would. It was never, MJ. I would. Yeah, it was. It was MJ. It, it Michael was. Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, it, that's, it, it was. Yeah. Could it be Madonna? I don't think no, so. Not now, no right? Way. I mean, she's no. up there, but I'm just saying when right, we're talking right, about right. that top like 001 percent, right? Yeah, the Rock, the rock is, up is up there, rock. I guess. Yeah, yeah it's oh Kardashian, she's got like oh Taylor Swift million. is eight. They're saying Taylor Swift is eight. Selena Gomez, I would not put Selena up there. Selena Gomez, A Beyonce, Beyonce. Warren yeah, Buffett. Warren I don't know. Buffett. I don't know if people know what he looks like. Tom Cruise, he's in there. So As couples, it's probably Jay Z and Beyonce, right? Is oh. there like a more famous couple? Right, oh uh, they God. probably are. The, they probably are the most famous couple. Jay Z and Beyonce, I would have to say. Richard Rich, um, yeah, Rich Voss and Bonnie McFarlane. Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you the most famous couples? Uh, yeah. I think if Buddy Pete would be on, should be on Pete, that. Yeah, but he's always got a new girlfriend. That's what I'm saying. He, you know, he'd Davidson? Be up there. Pete oh, Davidson, yeah. He's, he's yes. impressed a lot, for sure. Oh, Meghan, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are up there. He's a I would, if, I, if I walked into a restaurant and Prince Harry was sitting there, I would have no idea it was him. Yeah. Like yeah. Just because he he looks like a lot of dudes. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like Unless somebody told me. Yeah, that that's like, um, oh, yeah, John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. But again, I don't know that they're the, this is like no, in America. You're talking Jay-Z and Beyonce. Jay Z and Beyonce is the answer. Kanye and Kim were one at that time. Yeah, that's yeah. like 
Inarguable. What's this guy? Tom doing? Cruise is so famous. There's not even like paparazzi shots of him. You know what no. I mean? Because he just controls. He's like, no, we're not. No, yeah, you know, we're not doing. We're not doing yeah, that. I always wonder how someone at that caliber. That's the guy who said Look, like, look at how he comes into stage. We seriously have to come onto stage one day like this. <laughs> you ever do a live hey, babe? I swear to God, so this is what we're doing. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Sal, Sal, we have to do a thing. It looks like CGI. <laughs> you know, that gets the people going, though, yeah, bro. Could you imagine him <laughs> breaking his leg yeah. on the intro? Wait, wait, look. They weren't cheering before. <laughs> <laughs> and then they literally just, it was like, look at I kind of want to see this guy that, now. That, would, that looks like like literally like like Limp Bizkit at like <laughs> Wembley Stadium. I heard he does Gangnam Style like five or six times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> like he just constantly yeah. just does it. And crowd. It's his opener and his closer <laughs> for sure. Gonna, I saw Until Vanilla Ice settle down. No, that's what Vanilla oh, Ice used to do. Yo, did you see right before it went? He went. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. Oh my god, this guy's a legend. Legend, dude, bro. Dude, you know that? Dude, dude, he's he might be the most famous person in the world. Wow. wow. His physicality is wild. He's the most famous person in the world. That is one million people. Look at his album with the cowboy like, vest on. What, what, what morons we are. We're like, oh, maybe Michael Jackson, no, maybe no, Beyonce. No. Maybe, oh, it's Psy. Congratulations. You're what? the most famous person in the world. I mean, obviously, he kept going and we didn't hear about it. Right? <laughs> Yeah. How is that possible, dude? That's... Is, that, is that all Gangnam Style right there, or does he have like now a, like a discography that we don't know about? So, As a, it's the eleventh most viewed video on YouTube, four point nine billion views. Is that more than Salsa Windfall? <laughs> uh, Joe's Rose's band. band. Uh, um, uh, w w w yeah, I think he only has. I think that's his song though. Sixty. Yeah. Million dollars. Well, yeah, because because you know. Oh, is he invested in K-pop? Yeah, what oh. happened to him? He, when it, oh, something happened to him? No, no, what happened to him? <laughs> like, what happened to him after Aww. the Gangnam Style? Except those cookies. Cookies. <laughs> Can you read that? Because I don't have my glasses. Okay. This article is part of Yahoo's <laughs> On This Day Series. Uh, okay, so Gangnam Style, 2012 Korean pop sensation, Psy. Um, Gangnam Style, and then... Park J. Sang, now 43, had been expected to follow in his father's footsteps as an executive at his semiconductor company, um, <laughs> but fell in love with electronic music when he went to the USA. Could you imagine, dude, by the way, real quick? If Hashtag you vaccine, no, by the way. Could you imagine, <laughs> by the way, real quick, if you never auditioned for Sopranos and instead you followed your father's footsteps working at the Queen Center Mall? <laughs> <laughs> just like hang him down? Yeah. How sick would that be? Okay. I'd just be staring at the roof right now like, yeah. so with your mom My high school class. <laughs> Is it lunchtime yet? <laughs> my high school classmate killed himself in the Queen Center Mall, jumped off the fourth uh, floor. Oh, yeah, my dad. You was there for that? My dad, all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad. Oh, yeah. it happens a lot? Yeah. yeah it's ha my... Not a lot, but it's happened. Yeah, yeah people One of do them was, it. Yeah, my friend, yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. They jump thing, off. It's a thing there? They go. Well, there's I like was a... close when I couldn't find the, the Yankee hat. <laughs> you I was close. You way to Queen Center Mall. <laughs> yeah. um, wait, is there, a, is there something there that is like, it's super high? Why, why, why there? It's like five levels or something. Oh, it is but one of those. Somebody... I mean, and they do it just... during, indoors, during... Oh, oh yeah. Hours. Everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. People oh, generally get suicidal in Queens. That's terrible because well, I know they do yeah. it off of that. I just, that's crazy. They, they had they, to close that they down. They made that beautiful thing did. and they just had to close it down at the Hudson Yards because people just Really? Yeah, people just It looks like a big N95. can't open this off of it. Um, I, I honestly, honestly, that's, 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 oh man, that's rough because you're, you're putting that on everybody in that mall, kids that witnessed that, like, so whoo. my friend who did it, he, he would sleep over my house all the time when we were in high school. And I remember in high school, he had like, he had problems, like psychological issues. Right. But we were kids. We didn't know anything. Uh, I'm just oh, uh, but you don't pick it up on the audio though. Do you? Ah, whatever. What How long hey, is that it's free be? on YouTube. Um, <laughs> yeah, whatever you fight. <laughs> what are you going to do? What do you say? Who are you it's texting? Your assistant? See if she got my food. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, I, yes, yeah, so, hey, so, so this, my, my friend, yeah, so he would sleep over my house, right? Yeah. And he was a great basketball player and we would sleep over. And I remember one day where my, house where my mom still lives it was my room and her room shared a wall like my bedroom and my mom's bedroom shared a wall so i he got up in the middle of the night one night and he was just like pacing back and forth down the hallway and he was like there's these little green men everywhere like there's these little green men everywhere and my mom woke up and was like honey go back to sleep 
Like, there's no green man. It's fine. He goes, I'm telling you, they're everywhere. It's like crazy. And we were like, we were laughing. I was like, this kid's an idiot. Like, we were making fun of him. Like, what? It, we were kids. We didn't know. And then went in and out of, uh, you know, uh, 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 psychiatric ward when we were in our 20s. And then one day he killed himself. And the person at the Queen Center Mall, I remember I read it in the Queen's Ledger. They said, the kid killed himself, you know, his name, whatever. And like, he was reported to saying there was little green men everywhere at, right before he jumped. And I was like, holy shit. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, uh, can you make that funny? <laughs> uh, basketball player Space Jam. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but it's 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 like it, it's it's a thing, man. With the, I've heard that more p that people kill themselves at the Queen Center Mall, and then they kill themselves. They throw themselves off the Golden Gate Bridge too. Yeah, yeah that's, that's like a whole do this documentary. Is that him? You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> yeah. Now they're hammering. They're now they're hammering. And hammering. I say we <laughs> do it outside of our wall. I say we just plow through. All right. This is this is the construction episode. We got <laughs> we got Rob Eiler here. We got Tampa Tony here. We got homeless pimp has no microphone. Um, Rob, we're gonna make Rob do fucking Percocets again with all this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I well, listen. Before you walked in, we heard that he didn't. He he has it, recently. He hasn't. You said dookied in uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Yes. And I said if you took all the food. That you ate all those two weeks and put it on this table. Like, how is it feasible? Where is it going? It does, if, it, if it goes in you, that whole food, and it doesn't come out of you, what's happening? Uh, nothing. I mean, I try to go. I think I have to go, but nothing. I guess. I get, get guess. Well, I, no, well, I mean, but where is the actual food that you chewed? He doesn't eat that food. much anymore. Oh, I don't and you've been that. intermittent fasting. Oh, He's on the fasting app. Oh. My dad's lost over 50 pounds, is it, Dan? Congrats. 50 plus nice. pounds. God, congratulations. On the Thank fasting you. app. Thank you. Imagine wow. if he was shitting how much oh my God, <laughs> yeah, I know. he'd be down 75. <laughs> he'd weigh one pound if he shit. <laughs> Look, Dad, here's Jasmine. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> okay, you think, Hi, you think she takes any enhancing drugs or anything? Or? No, no, that's natural. She's just, she's, she's, uh, she's keto. I've never seen anyone like that in my entire life. Is that a guy or a girl? Yeah, it's pretty unique. It's interesting. I mean, that person looks massive. Is that, any, is that attractive to you at all, Dad? Would you be, if, if, if Diane got that diesel... Uh, no, no, you're not into that. I'm gonna kick her out of bed for eating crackers. Yes. So when you don't when you don't shift for two weeks and then you shit, is it like crazy? Yes, it's a lot. Like we have to call in the paramedics a lot. I start clapping in the bathroom. Then he says, "Whoa, we're all right." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if if it happens if you get a shit attack tomorrow on the plane? Oh, oh my God, dude! What are you gonna do? I have, to, I have to bring a baggie with me. I don't know what they're gonna yeah, do. I mean, it's Jeff Blue. They don't care. At it's least you. You know, it yeah, really, yeah. the force, it gets force it right it out. out. Yeah. Do you yeah. have to, like, flush every couple of minutes? Because it's like a, it's a Oh, yeah, I go, if, if I know, so I, I flush. Right. Then, then. You ever just not flush and then take a look at what no, no, what, no. what the amount was? No, no, no. I don't, don't want to get nervous. <laughs> yeah, it's like a shark. You shit out license plates. and. <laughs> 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 what did I eat that? I can't figure that out. Look at this. Look at this NYPD robot. I told you. Did I Taylor not say Swift this? is in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like a little bit. Did I not say that this is what this this is what they're doing with making the city anarchy? Is they're going to start to bring in AI and robots to to watch us? We're going to be begging. Dude, it's Fahrenheit four fifty one. Yes, Ray, Ray Bradbury. You know that one? What is that? Ray I know Bradbury? Fahrenheit nine eleven. Oh. Oh well, that's a take on it's a it's a one of the required reading types of books from high school. It's like an, an old classic. The only book I read in high school was a book called Stoughton. <laughs> one book. One book that we had to. Re I remember I, we had to, to be to honest. I was supposed to read like thirty. You still graduated, books. so you know he cheated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only read like literally three or four out of the fifty I was supposed to read, but uh, it's about the future when uh, all uh, the books and stuff and 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 and, and culture like they're burned, and then robot dogs start policing the streets. And uh, having books is illegal. It's crazy. This is what's going to happen. This is insane. <laughs> it's like, can you hear it? Can you hear it? This is so Operation. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. The level. Like, if you had to leave and give us a Yelp review. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rob traveled from Austin for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, let, let us give you a swivel chair. Put you we, in the corner. <laughs> make you come in halfway through an episode and then begin major reconstruction. <laughs> and, then, and then sit by Tampa Tony here that has his shit in a while. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this Saturday, Cosmopolitan, Las Vegas, Nevada. For the love of God, please buy a f***ing ticket, okay? There's 30% of the room sold. People are like, oh, Vegas, it's a last-minute market. Well, it's pretty last-minute.
buy the tickets. I sold 10,000 tickets in New York. I got 300 tickets sold in Vegas. What's wrong? Same goes for you, Kansas City. What the f*** are you doing? I'm there in, in October, the third week of October, at the Uptown Theater, and nobody's buying tickets. Can I just jump in here real quick? Yes. Georgia for me. Georgia, May, Macon, Savannah, and Athens. What are you doing? Everyone's out selling you in every other market. Please, I love you. Buy a fucking ticket. Yeah, buy a fucking ticket. ChrisDComedy.com. Guys, tickets for my special in Chicago on December 2nd went on sale last week, and they sold out uh, on the first day because of you guys. I am so grateful uh, that we are going to add another two shows, but that is it. I'm not adding any more than this, but this is the huge announcement right now. They went on sale on Friday. Um, we are going to do Friday, December 1st as well. Tickets are on sale right now at SavileCanoComedy.com. Uh, they are on sale. You don't even need a promo code. I am not adding more shows after this. The first two sold out immediately, so if you were waiting or thinking about getting tickets, it's Friday, December 1st. Those are on sale at SavileCanoComedy.com. And I will say, because I've been being asked a lot, the contest still stands. If you are going to any of my tapings, any of the four tapings for my uh, stand-up comedy special, I'm going to choose one ticket. It doesn't matter where you sit, and it doesn't matter what taping you're at. I'm going to choose one person, give you a plus one. I'm going to fly you to New York, put you up in a hotel, and bring you on a set of Impractical Jokers. I want to do that as a thank you to you guys, because... I couldn't believe it sold out so fast. So you're still in it to win it if you buy a ticket. SavileCanoComedy.com right now, Friday, December 1st at the Vic in Chicago. If you have a friend that lives in Chicago or around that area, let them know. Again, I'm going to pick one person out of those tapings. It doesn't matter where you sit. So grab those right away. The rest of the tour is also still on sale with tons of dates. Um, as a matter of fact, this coming weekend, I will be in... Uh, in October, we have Macon, Savannah, and Athens, Georgia, and even more and more dates. All of them up right now on sale at SavileCanoComedy.com. The Impractical Jokers Cruise is January 22nd to the 26th with Eric Andre, with Steve-O, and we're announcing tons of more comedians and bands this coming week. There's only a few cabins left for that. You can go get those at GetShipFacedCruise.com. That's GetShipFacedCruise.com. Check out NoPresh.com, uh, NoPressNetwork.com for our merch and SavileCanoComedy.com for my merch. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. I really hope to see you on the road. You got, do you eat a lot of fiber? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Actually, thing I didn't really? Think it today. <laughs> it is one thing I didn't I, I'm a, I could talk about shitting all... My, my, my brother this weekend did a fucking Iron Man, and in the middle of it, he had to shit. Oh, and you know, it was wow. raining out. He was at Jones Beach. He had to shit. He said it was probably the worst experience he's ever... I think it was worse than the Iron Man. Did he shit? Well, so he, he had to do it while he jogged or something. Or? No, so you, you he got he gets out of you get out of I don't know at what it's part no water and then he does the bike and then the thing. So he had a he had a dry suit on under. He has the dry suit under oh, and the he wet had to suit. Peel to, yes. So he goes in and he's like, I'm trying to take the one off without it touching anything in right. his face, and then get the second one off. And he's like, it was one of those shits. What do you say? Where he was like, the more I wiped, the more was there. Like he was like, I just kept, and he's like, I keep, and he was like, dude, it was one of the worst experiences I've ever had. And then there's, Jesus. there's also a line of like 40 people waiting to get in to pee oh. and they're like yelling at him. And he's like, yo, I was in there for like 15 minutes. He said it was a disaster. And by the way, storming outside. Wow. Like he said it was the worst experience. I would have probably think like people at that point might just shit their pants fully. Right. Well, so that's a, a well-known thing with marathon runners because they right. can't give up their pace or whatever. So yeah, like mile twenty. Tons of pictures of marathon runners running, which is shit falling out of their short shorts. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, if you could quick Google, get your priorities <laughs> straight. All the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you gotta you gotta empathize, you know, because. But I don't because you should have your priorities straight. Shitting is more important. Give it up. Yeah, yes. give up the time. But if, yeah. but if you're if you're doing them like the big one, oh my no. god, the, the big, big one. It's all I know because also it's... then, but then okay. So what happens? You make a good oh time, god. but then forever you're that guy. Yeah, exactly. That picture... Yo, congrats, dude. <laughs> right, right. Get the f out that of here. That picture is that picture exists, and then. that's full diarrhea. What were you doing? I know. I guess when you that run face. that much, Upset you get stomach indigestion, <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> Uh, well, Shout out to contract for watching Harper. Again. You forgot Harper. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's Harper's in there. I knew there, yeah. I, was, okay. I love that song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's rough, man. I, I, I got to think if, if it's not the final like ten feet. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna just be like, All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. And these people know, obviously, in the background, they know they're not watching him cheering him on. They're like, that guy has diarrhea running down. You his know, leg. this guy was cool in high school. Oh, oh yeah, you can just yeah, tell. Yeah, I think everyone there is like 
no one's. I don't think anyone's mocking that guy. Well, because at that point, <laughs> I don't think made, so. I think everyone's like, oh my know. god, could you imagine? He's so look at I those, feel bad. Two, those two people. They they're look shocked. like they're they look yeah. like they're ready well, to mock. The thing is, Taylor Swift's in the carriage. The thing is, <laughs> is that if you if you do that and diarrhea down your leg, you. Just commit to finish the race then. There's no reason to stop now. Right. Just go. But also, what's <laughs> fun about that... Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. It's it's normally the diarrhea because that's what you can't hold. That's insane. Look at this guy giving him a high five. Oh, oh that's a woman, God. too. Yeah. That oh sucks. Uh, when a that's woman rough, does dude. it, it sucks. It's, it's not like you're just doing a, sol a solid. You know what I mean? It's yes. like you can't, But the thing about that is, is that... That's not coming out in one shot necessarily. That's going to continue to come out. Yeah. So if you're not stopping, you're just running and continually shooting. Did you guys ever talk about that? You know the whole like Logan Paul, Dylan Danis shit with his girlfriend, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, pictures yeah. of her with all these other girls and shit. What do you think is worse, that or that? Like, like a sexualized a picture of you having sex or a picture of you shitting your pants? Yeah. Like if you're dating a girl and someone's like, "Yo, I got a picture of her," and they flip the phone, what would you rather see? Right, 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 right. Um, I would say Stop. probably it would be worse and more shocking for me to see her with the other guy because every girlfriend I ever have shits on my chest anyway. <laughs> 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 I, I mean, look, you, you gotta, you gotta he always know tells the truth. Always, yeah. Yeah. always so. <laughs> you got, you gotta know that uh, that person you're with has been with people before you. So I mean, I would, I would rather not just have my. Picture on the internet with brown legs. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, I know she's banged dudes before me. Like, right. that's, of course, yeah. that's like, I can't explain this what's going on in her it's head. Like, it's like, I can tell you for sure that my girlfriend has banged other guys, but I don't know if she's ever taken a shit because yeah. nobody <laughs> wants to think their girl shitting. <laughs> Um, uh, what, is this? what is this guy? Just guy walking naked through Dallas Fort Worth Airport. You go. You 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 move out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you go, girl. I was, like, <laughs> I was gonna say you go out of that man's way because you don't want to be in his purview. Yeah, that, uh, that's not someone you want to have a conversation with. What's the reason for? At this least you thing? know he doesn't have a gun on him or like a that's fucking true. bomb yeah, or anything. Yeah. Well, Taylor, <laughs> Taylor Swift might be inside of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just. Now, do you get arrested for that? Of course, right? Indecent yeah. exposure. Indecent yeah. exposure. Yeah. He's rolling up to the gate like group one, bitch. Yeah, he's apprehended, mental health evaluation. <laughs> yeah. But then they said he was fine. They let him on the plane. <laughs> Imagine. Just let him on the plane fucking butt naked. <laughs> That's rough, too, man. Because, you, you know, like, this kid, it's like, how do you explain that? I don't how know. How do you explain that to, like, you know? I saw a guy walking out of the breast pumping station once <laughs> in the uh, at JFK. So I'm sure he was masturbating in there. Yeah. Why would you walk out of the breast pumping station? Why he paid money to go in the breast pumping station? Oh, you gotta pay money. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can't. You can't them titties for free. Out. 100, yeah, hundred percent. So wait. I mean, so a woman that needs some pump milk to feed her baby, was, to keep her baby alive, has to pay money. Yes. It's not just a complimentary milk station. Nothing. Ain't nothing yeah. free. <laughs> nothing free. As nothing my father free. told me when I was a young man, you'll start to enjoy life when you understand life isn't fair. Did you say that? You spoke sure. in Proverbs, dude? Uh, that's it, that's talk, it. When we were sitting in traffic on the Verrazano Bridge coming from Queens to Staten Island, my dad would drop gems. <laughs> wow. I don't know if I've ever been given like that succinct of like these broad life lessons. Oh, yeah. And you, you took that and you applied that? You, you, yeah. You felt that? You I would be listening that? to Hot 97 on the radio with them. Angie you know, Martinez? Angie or Martinez. Funk Master Flex or who? Funk Master Flex, Angie Martinez, uh, Miss Jones in the morning. morning. The morning, yeah. Yeah, whatever we do, Ed Lover. And then my dad would just drop gems like that. And then we'd stop and go play Lotto. <laughs> what's, a, what's, a, what's one that you can impart on all of us right now? It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Okay. There you go. All right. Yes. There you go. It's nice to put. And then my mother always said, and then my, I would have that one. And then my, then my mom would always say, you can always, I always judge a person. You can always tell if a person is a good person. By the way they treat people they think they don't need. That's true. That's who you look for. And anybody who I've observed in my life that has treated people that they think they don't need, like a waiter, a waitress, or somebody, yeah, I, I keep I, I get them out. I, I would agree wholeheartedly there. I don't know how many my, my mom just I don't know I don't can't recall any of those right now. I'm sure it's happened, but normally it was just like, don't jump, you're gonna crack your head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. 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 with and, that thing. And I'll tell you, I I've never cracked my head. Right, so I've never cracked that, it and nobody's ever really got their eye poked out. I've asked my friend who's an emergency room doctor, said, how many eye pokings are you getting a day with the kids? And he said, I've nothing in 10 years. I cracked my head open. Did you? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, riding a bike. I've hit a, 
ledge when I was a kid. And yeah, it cracked yeah. right open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know, cracked open, but it was like, it was like I don't even know what side it's on now, but you could tell one of my eyebrows kind of does like a little thing. They had to sew it back together. Like, oh, shit. My head How old fully opened up. I don't know, seven, eight, nine, like around that time. What was that? Like, do you remember? Obviously, you remember it, right? Yeah, you're just in full shock. Like, you don't even, like, I remember being in the emergency room, like, like trying to play with other yeah. kids. And my dad was like, yo, chill. Like, you have yeah. to sit here and you can't move because it's, just, like, so insane. But the when light, you go to the whole, room, Your whole vision went black, like the last scene of Sopranos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you been asked that question? I uh, know. We don't Holy want to ask shit. it. You know what's great is I've never watched the show. So, like, when people ask me questions about it. the show, I'm always like, I've never seen it. And it, like, gets me out of everything. Like, I you love know, that, like, dude. Good for you. Oh, it's so, like, that's half the reason I didn't watch the show. Because I'm like, I know down the line when people are like, in episode seven, when you said that, I'm like, I don't fucking know. Okay, okay, okay. Right. It's also wow. like I get that too. Like where I mean, I've never been anything like that. But it's like you don't watch Impractical Jokers, right? No, I, I have to. I edit. I edit yeah. it as well, so I see it already. But I don't. I know I don't watch it. I mean, yeah. it's if I'm changing and it's come on. There's times I've watched it for a, f a few minutes, but I don't sit there and watch it, or I never watch it when it's on or anything. Yeah, I I, I get that. I get that. Not wanting I hate to watch myself. Yeah, I get not wanting to. And then you just like you pick yourself apart yeah. so much but that but for a show as big as Sopranos to not watch I bet you're probably the only one in the cast who didn't watch it uh yeah so the, the girl played my sister Jamie didn't watch it until COVID and then COVID she watched like half of it I think <laughs> no way she did what everyone else did yeah she's yeah, like yeah. Right, I'm gonna just watch it again yeah <laughs> she was, and then I think like she was like oh it was so easy for me to watch myself as like a young kid because I gave I cut myself like Gave myself grace, yeah, yeah, and she was like, "But then once I was like an adult, she was like, I couldn't. I had to stop watching it because." Wow. So yeah. let me ask you too, because the fact that you stopped acting and all that is very interesting to me. Because being in entertainment, I don't know how Sal feels about the Sal's obviously at a, a, a a different level, but I feel like even me, like I like my life where it is now. Like this whole idea when you start out, you want to be famous and all that, but then I'm like, I don't like that people know about anything about my life i don't like i don't want to know what's at the next level i don't want it's like all my friends who have seemed to have the easiest life most fun they're not the richest they're not the most famous yeah they're kind of in the middle and because when you get to that next level it's like your life gets turned upside down is that the reason why you were like i don't want to do this anymore like yeah, with acting I mean, th you were there like, were a lot of reasons private? uh i think I never wanted to be famous i got into the business when i was six years old you know what i mean so I, it wasn't my choice like normally when you meet people who are in this business, they, they want that fame and they want mm. this because they made the decision to be in it. Where I was six years old, my dad was walking with me on the street and some guy was like, oh, you know, he should be an actor. And that guy's still my manager today. Wow. What? Like over 30 years. He's incredible. Like wow. such a great guy. He saved him. He was working at the Old Navy in the Queen Center Mall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, yeah. And so I Not never... Not manager. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never... Uh, yeah, I, I never want. And then story. doing wow. Sopranos, I thought I loved acting. And then when Sopranos ended and I went to do other acting, I was like, oh, no, I love doing Sopranos. Right. I don't love acting. I don't like being around these people right. and this phoniness. And right. like, I right. love podcasting because we come in here for an hour. You got an hour pot. Yeah. You right. and shoot, like Sopranos, when we would do those dinner scenes, they would take four days. Yes. Wow, man. To, to shoot a minute and a half scene. Yes. Wow. Or three minutes, you know, whatever. Yeah, and, it was just, yeah. and you're just like, yo, we're here again today eating dumplings at 5 a.m., like, I don't, wow, you know, dude. you know, yeah, with the right. your stomach <laughs> and shit. It was just, yeah, that's at least brutal. like you. But I'm not, wait, I want to make it clear. I'm not complaining about acting. Sure, it's sure. very, it's a dream job. It's easy, but it's just like, you, you're like, what am I doing? You right. know what well, I mean? And also too, like when people like, you know, it's, it's easy to glorify like winning an award for a movie or a TV show, but nine times out of 10, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio goes and wins an award, but he had to spend six months away from his family, like in a place he oh, didn't God, want to dude. be in. And it's like, they, they, they forget that part where it's like, even us, even me just going on the road for three, four days mm -hmm. at a time, which I know is nothing compared to a musician, nothing compared to an actor when they have to go on set. But I'm like, I don't want this to be my life. I, 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 I just want to be home. I don't want to always be living out of a suitcase, but it's tough sometimes. You for talk like, just a little louder because the hacksaws sorry, are yeah. the <laughs> I, know. I know. What, is, what, what, is, what do you think they're using? What tool is that? Is that a full chain? Is that an actual chainsaw? I feel like it's a chainsaw, <laughs> a drill, and a jackhammer. What are they doing? I don't know. Fixing the facade? This That's is, literally you, right mean, outside is, is the window. Literally like, are you picking this up on our mics? I mean, Can you tell? A little bit. Yeah, yeah. A little There's bit, nothing enough, we could do. Enough that if you're listening to it, you hear all that the whole time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. All right, well, maybe we'll pivot for the, I don't know. I don't There's know. There's nothing we can do. have weeks worth of <laughs> drilling on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whatever. What People do you do? There, New York City. What do you, only in New York. Only in New York. But so... 
So yeah, man. So and you're you've never regretted once not getting not acting anymore. No, because I also think it's something where it's not like um, you know football where it's like I'm done and you can't go back. Like True. if I ever want, like uh, uh, I just did a show for you know I don't know what you could say and what you can't these days. Everything is so like crazy. But I just did a show for uh, Segura. Segura right. wrote a show and he's like, yeah, you want to do this? Like read it, whatever. So I did that uh, for him and it's like. You know what? Now I'm an actor again. Like you know, I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it. I don't think it really is that kind of job. Where it's like I didn't have to go to someone and like give my two week notice or whatever right, the fuck right, right. Yeah. people do. I That's know. what we did too. It's like when when do we stop? Like, did you tell? Did your agent try to talk you back into it? Because sometimes oh my god, we every, get pushed and every nonstop with the phone calls and this, but. Uh, so when Sopranos ended, I was 22. I told my manager, like, don't call me for six months or like you know however long or whatever. And then I ended up like I was partying so hard. I went to Vegas by myself for two weeks, and I came home a year and a half later. Whoa. Like, I was on one where I was just like, I was I was fucking <laughs> oh, going for it. Wow. Yeah, I was really, like, out of my mind. So, uh, yeah, I, at that point, he knew, like, let me, we don't want him to show up, right. you know, on an audition or anything, because it's going to be a I'm mess. I'm sure you've spoken about this before, but uh, you had someone, who was, the, like, you had someone to reel you in finally, or... Uh, it was, it like I think it got to the point where I was like, had, like a, uh, yeah, where it was like, do I want to die or do I want to live? Right, like, right. do I want to, cause you know, like my, so my 28th birthday, I took like 35 Molly and I was up for days, wow. days. And I was, I didn't take 35, like in my hand at a time, but like over the course while I was awake, I took 35. And that when I woke up after that, I thought I did like permanent damage. I, I would never be the same. And I remember being like, if I get through this, I'm, I'm done. What like, did you I'm feel? Just, what was like the damage after? You know when like somebody adopts like a dog or something and they're like shaking in the cage and we're, like yeah. that's how I was for you know six days like I was just like any noise oh, like I couldn't have done this pod like you know really? this, like right, construction right, right. like you're just shivering any time I would try and eat something I'd throw up like I couldn't I would be laying down and then I would get like try and get up and then I'd be like oh I need to lay down again I'd be laying down and be like no I can't lay down I need to get up but like at the same time I was also addicted to Xanax Percocet. So it's like I was probably like, you know, withdrawing from some things yeah. on other things. Right. It was just like a fucking whole mess. So I was like, good for you that you got out of that, man. Yeah, Holy man. Shit. Yeah. It's pretty powerful that. And then at 22, having the wherewithal to tell your agent, like, I don't because you would think 22, The Sopranos was arguably one of the biggest shows of all time. And you're a young kid. You would think like they would give you movies and whatever. But you were like, I don't want that. Yeah, I just pretty didn't. Powerful. There was no like, you know, there was something really cool about. Sopranos where it was like we're in New York and also it wasn't a kids show so when I was around kids I was a kid no one knew who I was like there were no 14 15 16 mm. year olds like yo I love Sopranos last night like 16 year olds didn't have fucking HBO they didn't watch HBO they right. weren't watching Sopranos so when I was with kids you had some I was normal, just a normal dude yeah. and then when I was with adults they were the crazy people like who were like oh my god like you know right. Tony and this and all this shit so, um, and also being in New York, it's very different than like when we would go to like, um, award shows and go to LA, you're like, oh, I see how this is very fucking dip. Like everyone's kissing your ass and like yeah. you're something different than everyone else. We're in New York. You're just like, I'm on the train. Like I'm right. on the bus. I'm yeah, like, people people like, oh shit. Up. Like that's cool. And then like go on where oh, like yeah. in LA, it's like, people are like, oh my God, like how do I get around you? Like what well, I'll do. It. And you're just like, whoa, like it's this terrible. is fucking it's weird. It's repulsive. Yeah. So I just knew like, I like. I, when I was filming Sopranos, I was like, all I want to do is be chilling with my boys. Like, I just want to be fucking hanging. And so as soon as we were done, I was like, yo, I know exactly what I'm doing. Like, everybody else was thinking, you know, yeah. just catapult my career. And Did I you know this. when you first auditioned and got the part that this is good? Was it already rumblings like this show is going to be huge or you had no idea? No, not at all. And then so like I told, you know, I grew up poor and I told like my family uh, when we got the show, they're like, oh my God, we're rich. Like, you know, like that was the thing. It was like, oh my God, you're on a TV show. We go to the Applebee's at the Queen Center Mall. <laughs> yeah. Georgia Diner. Yeah. Oh, Georgia Down Diner. Down the street, baby. The street. Georgia yeah. Diner. Good, Next good to White food. Castle. Yes, sir. Yeah. Belly Bombers. That'll get you going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some fucking White Dad, Castle. Yeah. Said, honestly, some White Castle burgers and 35 Molly should do the trick. <laughs> Mur Mur murder burgers. These murder burgers. Move, move. Yeah. Kids. So yeah, so what? So go ahead. Sorry. Uh, no. So, what, what was so you got? Doing? You were like that. Your family's like, we're rich. My family's like, oh my god, we're rich, whatever. And then we were on set, and the guy who played uh, Paulie Walnuts, Tony Sirico, yeah, like R.I.P. R.I.P. The, the yeah. greatest, the greatest, the greatest. Bay Ridge, right? Bay Ridge guy. Legend. I love that guy. He yeah. is who you, people are like. What was he like? I'm like, you know what he was like. That yeah, was yeah, him. Yeah. Like, like, he wasn't. supposedly was really that guy in real life. Like you know, hundred percent. Yeah. Wow. He did time everything. Yep. And he um. He told, like, I was like, yo, so we're on a TV show now, huh? And he's like, oh, no. He's like, we do this shit all the time. We'll never see each other again. Like, this is, you, we shoot these pilots, and then that's it. Like, oh, 
oh, you'll never man. see each other. And I was like, oh shit. So now I'm 12. I got to go back to my family. Like, yeah, listen, we're not, right. we're not getting out, you know, yeah, like uh, we're, 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 and, um, and then, you know, however many months go by where HBO is deciding if they want to pick it up or whatever. And they finally give us the call, like, hey, you're going to do one season. And then I remember there was a billboard in Times Square and people started calling us like, hey, you're in fucking Times Square on a billboard. And we went to see that billboard. And that's like the last thing I remember of life before. Wow. You know, we're like after like there that was, was your 9-11. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they don't they don't talk of like. uh <laughs> 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 They, uh, you know, like Seinfeld talks about, like, yeah, that first season, it was kind of yeah. touch and go this. Like, I don't even remember. Like, as soon as it was out, it was just like, I, yo, this I, is. I didn't watch it till the, the third season. I went, I, someone was like, you got to watch it, you got to watch it. And they threw on, I remember the I remember the first line I heard because I became a fan, but it was, I, I don't think it was the first episode, but it, it was your line. You came out and went, no fucking ZD? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was, like that was the pilot. Yeah, that was the yeah, first yeah, yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the yeah. first thing I remember. And I was like, oh, my God. And I just like, I was like, and then right away, of course. Yeah, and I'd be rolling around with like 14-year-olds, like drinking 40, smoking. And then an adult would see us and be like, eh, I don't fucking see you. Oh, my God. And these kids were like, what? Like, you know, like it was fucking, it was crazy, man. Yeah. Did you I mean, maintain a close relationship with James Gandolfini, too, before he died? Everybody. Yeah, yeah I mean, awesome. there was nobody. Yeah, yeah. There was nobody where it was like, oh, that guy, this this person, this like it was just like, you know, we'd I felt go like to they the were real people, like real know, like, people, like yeah, when we would go authentic. to those Emmys and shit. It's like, oh, we don't want to be here, but then it's like, oh, but we're all together. Like we'd be like, who are we flying out with? And then you're yeah. like, in the fuck, oh, could we? Sh they would have two cars for us. And we'd be like, can we share the car? And like, you're just That's it awesome. was your boys. Like you yeah. were hanging out, and it was it was crazy. Yeah, man, everybody was still like we were talking about Sharippa. Like I'm probably gonna yeah. go have dinner with him while I'm here. And Jamie Lynn, I do my podcast with. We hang out fucking constantly. Like I'm at her place every Sunday, like with her family and That's this. Awesome. Like, yeah, we're just you know. So you fully live in Austin now. I moved to fucking Austin. Yeah. There you go. That's what we did. That's why. Sounds like oh, me. Wait, am I on Impractical Jokers? <laughs> Is, am I doing all three? <laughs> Sounds like uh, me. Let me write this down. <laughs> yeah, you can, I can zip myself on her. <laughs> then Merlin hey. zips himself at Taylor Swift. <laughs> Wait, sounds like me trying to shit. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think she's been hanging. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, we could go out right there. I don't yeah. Know plug. Yeah, you got know. anything to plug? Uh, we can't do this podcast. podcast yeah. Anymore. I have a pod. <laughs> <laughs> you guys make it real hard. Huh? Yeah. Is this the same as Tom Segura's operation? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so tell them where they can see you. Yeah. Uh, I got a fucking podcast like everybody. It's uh, called Not Today, Pal. I do it with Jamie. I do it for YMH, for uh, Tom Segura and those guys. And it's fucking, you know, awesome. good, uh, yeah, good times. Out in Austin, yeah? Yeah. We're out in Austin, there, yeah. yeah. They, so uh, cool. Yeah, it's fucking All good right. times. <laughs> it's so so crazy. Dude, thank you so much. It was nice guys, check out his podcast. <laughs> yeah. It was so nice to actually finally meet you. It's going to be crazy if people can't hear the <laughs> instruction. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, are they schizophrenic? <laughs> yeah, like, what are they doing? Oh, God. Oh. Uh, all, right. all right. This has been Hey Babe. This has been Hey Babe. Don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't